Apple TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with the cast, director, and lighting designer of The Little Soldiers. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello. Okay. How's the run going so far? How are audience receiving your show? Well, it's going really well. We have in good houses, and uh, we actually got a few thoughts on the show after each performances, and um, so far we've been very so it's an incredibly interesting show. Could you tell everyone a little bit about it? Shall I start? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a very visual piece of theatre yeah. with, with live music, so, um, so we sweat a lot. Uh, but it Good. seems like we're sweating really well. <laughs> you yeah. sweat well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, um, it's about two brothers chasing one dream and how this one dream is slowly taking over the whole space and becoming an obsession. Um, we're not using any text, we're not using any words, but only the way we move, the use of objects, light and music, and, um, and that's what we use to communicate our story. And, so yeah, it's a little bit of that. Am I right in saying you've adapted the story of Cain and Abel? Not, not quite an adaptation. We've, um, we devised the piece together, um, all of us, and that was one of a number of sources. Mm -hmm. that there's a really strong thread and that runs throughout your sort of brotherly relationship. But like, it's not necessarily an adaptation, it, it is an original piece of work where we've drawn on um, and able, among other stories. Mm -hmm. So it's an incredibly physical piece. What are the challenges you face as a director, as a performer? Um, how do you prepare and how, how do you prepare yourself for that kind of a strenuous performance? Do you want to talk about the physical challenges? <laughs> 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 Well, there's a lot we have to do. Basically, we need time to warm up and to prepare ourselves every day. So usually we do it in the morning because otherwise we need time to fly you and to get people know about our show. So we do it early and then we come back. Um, but what Zelma is not saying, <laughs> because you ask about physical challenges, is that on the first day of rehearsal, about eight months ago, um, so we, you know, we first meet the whole team and then I ask Zelma, so we have a ladder. So I asked them, so why don't you just climb up the ladder and, and jump? And so she climbs up the ladder, she jumps, and it's great. And then she does it the second time and the third time. And on the third time, the ladder just tilts. And then I fall and uh, break her wrist. So, wow. so then I had a, a card. And then on the, because on the, on the flyer, you see it with a, with a card. So I, got, I was rehearsing with the card for about two months. <laughs> yeah. And then we went through um, a period of showing in spring, which we did. And then I got my plate out of shoes. So now it's all good. I have no metal inside and we're just back on track. But wow. <laughs> so Keon was a very generous director. He gave you the full two days off when you yeah. broke your wrist? Three. Oh, three. Far too long. <laughs> so um, why do you think it's important to tell a story without text? Why do you take the text away completely? Because I think that by movement, it's much more direct and the text just goes through the brain. So the audience is possible to experience the emotion of the story much more directly. Um, no, also, it's not, and it's not that we don't want to use words, it's just that we're trying to say something else. We're not trying to replace words by gestures or, or facial expressions or hand movements. I think it's about trying to get to another realm where, where we're not preventing ourselves from breathing, we're just using our body a little bit like a keyboard to actually communicate something which wouldn't be as effective as well. So as Emma is saying, it's, um, it's, a, different, it's a different angle of view. Um, and the, the very interesting thing is that working with Scats, who was a lighter designer, so she, she was constantly looking at what we were doing and the way to light it. Um, she could actually tell us you know, how we could be very effective in that sort of thing. Great, well thank you so much for coming and talking to me. Where can we catch your wonderful shows? Aha! We are on every day at the Pleasant Queen Dome at 2.10 every single day until Sunday the 25th of August. So you've got to catch it quick before it goes. Thank you. Uh, I've been with Jim Walker TV. Thank you very much for talking to me.